we have already seen in the earlier video how we can implement stack how we can implement what are the operations in stack today you are going to see the implementation of stack using array okay so suppose i have an array here with size size 4 now if i want to perform push what is the minimum requirement that i need to check that i need to check if stack is full that is my first requirement right how can i check if the stack is full here there is something a variable called as there is one variable called as top if top equals to size minus 1 that is nothing but the end of the array that is top equals to n minus 1 then i can i can say that the stack is full that's the only condition you can check which indicates the stack is full so i'll i'll give a print message saying that print the percentile stack is okay not percentile the stack is full message will print it if it is not full what i have to do then initially the top is having a value minus 1 if i want to insert 10 inside this the stack if i want to insert 10 inside the stack at index 0 what i have to do initially is first of all i have to increment the top value okay after the increment uh, of the incrementation of the top value using this top value i can insert the element so i will write like this stack of top equals to data whatever data i want to push okay here stack of top is nothing but initially top is 1 if i increment it will become 0 so now i can say stack of 0 equals to 10 so in this way you can insert the element till when you can insert this element still stack becomes full how we will know the stack is full that is top equals to equals to n minus 1 that is size minus 1 okay and if you want to implement pop if you want to implement pop what is the minimum requirement you need to check if the stack is empty right if the stack is empty i can just how can i check if the stack is empty if top equals to equals to minus 1 so i can give a message to the user saying that stack is empty okay suppose let's suppose the stack is not empty there are some elements here okay 0 has 10 1 has 20 2 has 30 3 has 40 now top is pointing to the third index here so else if the stack is not empty what you have to do first of all pop will retrieve the topmost element right it will delete this topmost element that is what will be deleted but i want to know which value has been deleted so for that what i am doing i am storing this particular value in temporary variable stack of top so stack of top here temp will be having 40 After that, what I have to do? This element is deleted. Now I have to point top to the second, the second index. How can I, uh, how can I point this top uh, value to second index? Nothing. But I just decrement this particular top value. Okay, decrement the top value. Once I decrement it, I can just return the temporary value. Like this, you can do it. Okay. So if I want to display. what i need to do i need to initially check if the stack is empty that's the only condition you need to check if the uh, stack is empty you just need to how we are going to check the stack is empty top equals to equals to minus 1 print f stack is empty else if the stack is not empty what you have to do this is your array i have 40 30 10 20 and 10 okay else but how can i retrieve this is the top is pointing to 3 and i need to retrieve all the elements how can i retrieve all the elements i am writing a for loop here i equals to which value it has to point to i value it should be initialized to top till when i have to retrieve all the values till i value is greater than or equal to 0 i minus minus Why I am doing decrement? Because once I retrieve forty, I need to retrieve thirty also, right? How can I go to this particular index? That is why I minus minus. So inside this for loop, I am writing a printf statement say percentile d stack is my array. So stack of 
that for i. So like this you will get. If suppose i equals to 3 here initially, 3 is greater than or equal to 0, condition is true, then you will print stack of 3. What is stack of 3? Stack of 3 is 40. Now i will be decremented to 2. Okay. 2 is greater than or equals to 0, condition is true, stack of 2. What is stack of 2? 30. Now i will be decremented again. That is 1. 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Then once this condition is met, it will go inside the whole loop. Now here you will be writing stack of 1. What is stack of 1? Stack of 1 is 20. Now again I will be decremented to 0. 0 is greater than or equal to 0. Condition is true. Stack of 0. Stack of 0 is 10. Okay. Now I will be decremented uh, to minus 1. Minus 1 is greater than or equal to condition false. So now uh, the uh, for loop will be terminated. This will be your output 40, 30, 20, 10. Okay, in this way you can access all the elements. Okay, now let's go to this code. Let's go to the program and see how we are implemented. Here, what we are doing, we are taking three, we are declaring three methods that is push, pop, and display. And here I'm taking stack and here, how I am implementing push, pop and display methods is I am just taking a switch case and whenever I enter some option, choice, according to that choice, that particular method will be invoked. If I press 1, if the user enter 1, push method will be called. If he enters 2, pop method will be called and display method will be called if he enters 3. And if you see here, after each case, in each case you are using break statement. Why you are using, without using break statement, what will happen? If uh, I press 1, push will be invoked and immediately pop will also be invoked. But I just want push operation to be executed. That's why I am saying break. Break, what it will do is, immediately after execution of this case, break will exit itself from the current loop. Okay? So, the whole logic we have implemented here. In the uh, push value you're inserting, you have to check if it is equal to size. The stack is full. Okay? Stack is also. If not, you are entering a value to be pushed inserted and you are reading that value. What did I say? You have to first increment the top, then you have to insert that value inside this index, at that particular index. That's why you are saying stack of the top value. In pop, what you have to do? You have to check if the condition is, if the top value is, uh, the top value is minus 1, that indicates that the stack is empty. Okay? If the stack is empty, you cannot delete any element. Yeah? That's why you are checking this condition, the stack is empty. If not, what you have to do, the popped element is stack of top. You have to retrieve that element and then you have to decrement it. If you want, you can either store this particular value in temporary variable and then return that value. So next thing, we are doing display. Of what we are doing in the display, are just printing all the values. So top should be greater than or equal to 0. If it is empty, you cannot return all the values. The same logic what I have explained, we have done here. i equals to top, i, I greater than or equal to 0, i minus minus print a percentile the stack of five. Okay, like this okay. And how we have implemented this whole loop is nothing but with the help of do while. Do while condition you have implemented. Okay, do while till you enter choice four. This loop will be executed. Okay. And one thing you have to remember, these all declarations are nothing but part of global. They are declared globally. Okay. And in the main method, you will call the function whatever you are defined. The function definitions you will be writing outside the main method. Okay. Let's execute this code. I am saving the name with that array. Dot C. So maximum size I'm taking it as four. Okay. From um, uh, what are the operation I want to do? I want to push first. Okay. Enter choice one. Enter value to be push ten. Enter the choice again. I want to push. That's why I'm saying twenty. Enter the choice one. Thirty. Enter the choice one. I want to push forty. Now I want to insert again. I'll enter 1. It will say stack is overflow. 
now what i want to do is i just want to i just want to delete display the elements whatever elements are present I, so i will choose three so you'll get the output as the elements are 40 30 20 and 10 enter the choice now i want to enter two that i want to execute the pop operation now if you see the popped element is 40 that is the topmost element that's why 40 is displayed here okay now i just want to exit from this so i will enter 4 so exit point in this way you can implement start using arrays